Well, hello again, you fine people out there on the internet. How are you guys doing? Well, I'm doing fine, thanks for asking. Well, today I have the Torpedo 18 typewriter. You might notice I only have one key cap of a different color. Yes, I've acquired the original five, the number 5% 5 key. So all I have to do now is uh, make my own number four key. But that's not what this video is about today. The video about today is about ribbons. You know, ribbons are one of those things that if you're a manual typewriter collector, it is as important as gas in your car or oil in the engine. Let's talk about ribbons. You know, when I peruse the internet, the Facebook antique typewriters group, among other groups, I see a lot of people talking about ribbons, asking questions about ribbons. What's a good ribbon? And everybody is looking for, ideally, a really nice, dark, inky ribbon at a good price, right? And I've been down that road many times. A lot of you guys like using the bulk ribbons from places like Baco Ribbon Supply. I'm going to be doing a, a video in the future about them. But there are a number of other ribbon manufacturers and resellers out there on places like Amazon, online retailers. And I have found a new supplier of ribbons that I bought a pack of ribbons from and I'm pretty darn happy with. And I thought I'd share it with you. So this is from a company called Speedy Inks. Speedy Inks, they're out of Long Beach, California, and they're selling a 12 pack of red black nylon ribbons in the DIN size spools. These ribbons do not have eyelets. They're advertised for use with Olympias and Facets and Adlers and some of the Royals and Remingtons. Basically the kinds of typewriters that do not use the eyelets for auto reversing. Well, it would be nice to figure out how much these ribbons actually costed me, hey? Well, let's see here. So it is, $9.99, I had free shipping, divided by 12 ribbons in a pack, oh my goodness, it amounts to 83.25 cents, under 84 cents a ribbon. Under 84 cents a ribbon, can you believe that? Yeah, here they are, I've actually used two of them already. I uh, gave one to my friend Kevin to try out yesterday at our monthly Albuquerque Typewriter Society meeting, and I installed one of these ribbons in the uh, Torpedo 18, but these are them. So the thing I was really interested in when I first opened the ribbon up was, well, of course, of course they're nylon ribbons, but I was really concerned, first of all, the most important thing, they're inexpensive ribbons, so my concern was, are they really good? Are they really inky? Do they give a nice dark imprint? Because I have purchased ribbons upwards of eight, nine, ten dollars or more per ribbon with only a mediocre darkness of imprint. And that is kind of disappointing. And I'm sure a lot of you guys have had the same experience, right? You pay good darn money for a ribbon, way too much money for a ribbon, and it's not really that good. So, a ribbon that's under a dollar, how good can that be? Well, when I first uh, finished servicing this Torpedo 18, I had put in a recently ins installed, slightly used nylon ribbon that I had gotten out of some other machine, and it only had a mediocre kind of an imprint, and I didn't really know if it was the machine itself or just that ribbon. So, I had a whole pack of these adding machine ribbons that have a smaller size spool, so they're a shorter ribbon, half inch, but uh, were really inked darker than a lot of average nylon ribbons because it's designed for an adding machine or a calculator. And so I have been using that particular ribbon in uh, this machine and I was pretty happy with the imprint. In fact, here is an example of one of the typings that I had done on that other ribbon that I, I thought was darker than a lot of new nylon ribbons. So yesterday when I uh, was at the typewriter meeting, I swapped out that ribbon with one of these new ribbons from Speedy Inks. And uh, I gotta say, yeah, I'm pretty impressed actually. This particular piece 
was typed on the adding machine ribbon, which is darker than most average uh, nylon ribbons. And this is the new ribbon itself. Uh, this was actually a poem that I wrote back in 1996. And I found the handwritten version of it going through some papers and I decided this needed to be typed up. And so I gave this new ribbon a shot. So here is the piece itself that I typed on that cash register ribbon. So there's the piece on the cash register ribbon, nice and dark inky. And this on your left is now the new DIN-sized full-length typewriter ribbons that are cost less than a dollar. And I'm pretty satisfied with the dark imprint of this new ribbon. I am actually really astounded. It's a really pretty darn good quality ribbon, especially considering the price. So the first thing that I noticed when I opened up the first ribbon out of this new pack was taking a look at the ribbon, they really do look wet. I mean, you can actually see a little bit of wetness to the ribbon and that was hopeful. And as soon as I touched the ribbon, it's looking at my fingers, it's like, yeah, this is a nice wet ribbon. And I can even see right here, looking at an angle as the lights here hit this ribbon, boy, it looks nice and shiny. Yeah, this is a great ribbon, especially for the value, my goodness, for the money. Now there are maybe one or two caveats. First of all, these are the DIN sized spools. I don't have a metric ruler scale right here available, but in, in uh, inches, it's, it's like two and an eighth approximately, two and an eighth inches in diameter. So a little bit bigger than the average two inch spool. Again, these do not have the grommets on the ends for auto reversing with that kind of a system. These are really ideally suited for your Olympias and your like Adlers and the Torpedoes and the German type typewriters that use the back tension system for detecting end of ribbon instead of the uh, grommet system. So if you have that kind of a typewriter or if you're comfortable with having a grommet crimper kit and you can crimp your own grommets onto these kind of ribbons and maybe spool them onto your old existing spools, I think this is a great value in ribbons. My gosh, 86, what did I say? What is this? 83 and a quarter cents per ribbon, not including shipping from uh, this seller. I got it off on Amazon, paid for it with my own hard-earned money. Man, that's pretty good. So there you go, another source of ribbons. I had read about these ribbons recommended by a person on the Facebook Antique Typewriters group, and I thought I would give them a try as a recommendation. And I gotta really say, I'm sold on them. I can definitely see these new ribbons are darker than even those adding machine ribbons that were themselves pretty impressively dark. So there you go, a ribbon recommendation. These are the Speedy Inks 12 pack of DIN sized red black typewriter ribbons. It's a model number T677BR. I'll put a link down below in the description if you guys are interested. I have no affiliation with the seller, paid these with my own hard earned money. So I can recommend them though. You guys ought to try them. Okay, that's it. A short little piece on a new, brand for me, a new for me, a new source of typewriter ribbons that looks like it's really high quality and a great price. Okay guys, well until next time you know the drill, stay creative and have yourselves a great day. Bye bye.